Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Kyle at MyersMathematics.com. This is the September 9th video of our factoring series. So we are doing three problems today. We've got x squared minus 3x minus 10 and x squared plus 3x minus 18 and x squared minus 3x minus 18. So that's a total of three problems today. Three problems. So let's just dive right in. If you're familiar with this series, you already know what it is. We're going to do three problems on odd days, uh, four problems on even number days, and uh, we're going to go through the whole month of September doing a video a day except for Sundays because that's the day of rest where you get to see um, all kinds of different factoring problems and how they work. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So we've got x squared, x squared minus 3x minus 10. All right, so all I'm going to do is I want two things that multiply to give me the last number. That's how it works. Whenever you factor, you want two things that multiply to give you the last number, and they add or subtract to give you the middle number, right? Middle number. Last number, middle number. So last number, 10. The only two things that multiply to give me 10 are 1 and 10, and then, of course, 2 and 5. All right. Now, since I have to get a negative 10 when I multiply, I need one of them to be negative. Since I want a negative 3, it makes more sense to make the 10 negative because if I subtract 1 and 10, 1 minus 10, I get a negative number. I want a negative number. But I get negative 9, not negative 3. So I need to make the 5 negative. Let's check this. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Hey, there we go. That works. All right. And then, of course, if you did it the other way around, be really careful with your signs. They always mess everybody up on these. 5 minus 2 is 3, not negative 3. We want a negative, negative 3. So those are our factors. And then I just throw an x in front of both of them. That's a plus 2. So I put x plus 2 and x minus 5, and I'm done. Next, we have x squared plus 3x minus 18. Change my pen here. x squared plus 3x minus 18. So I want two things that multiply to give me 18. So there's a couple different things that multiply to give you 18, right? You have 1 and 18. But again, we want to subtract and get 3. So if I make that negative, I'll get a positive number. So negative 1 plus 18, aka 18 minus 1, would be 17. That's way too high. We're going to keep going. If I do it again, I get 2 and 9. Well, that's still too high. That's going to give me 7. So what's next? 3. 3 and 6. Yeah, that works. Negative 3 plus 6, right? This is plus. Negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. And then, of course, when I multiply, I get negative 18. So there we go. There's your x. Put an x there, and you're done. So since this next problem is basically just the minus version of the same thing, it won't take me that long. Ooh, it's kind of bugging me that that was a little thinner. Hold on, let me change the thickness of that pen. There we go. I'm going to try to keep it the same. Much better. Okay, x squared minus 3x minus 18. So it works out really the same way because since 18 is negative, I still have to subtract to get 3. So I already know that when I subtract 3 and 6, I get 3. But this time, I need the 6 to be negative and the 3 to be positive. So I just throw x's in front, and I put that one a little too close. But that's all you do. You just switch the signs. And now I get negative 3 when I add 3 and negative 6. And there you go. That's your factoring for today. 